Hello Paul, again from EMD Automotive at Camper Sydney. This is the actual 930 Turbo. I'm back here again today doing the engine rebuild. So, this is the old bearings. See how they're pretty burned, burned out. Alright, I've got the new ones here. Look how clean. This is all clean. Very, very clean. So, how clean they are. This is a 1989 con rods and look how clean and how nice it looks. I've seen a few from different manufacturers and they all scored up pretty bad. When you have bearings it looks like that, they pretty score the whole thing here. So on the Porsches they pretty much score inside here but nothing on this one here. I've seen worse as well but I'm just saying, compared to different manufacturers, this is really well designed by Porsche. Anyway, if you want more horsepower, then you obviously you gotta upgrade the con rods and things like that. But if you wanna stand, leave it standard, then we'll leave everything standard. All right, you can change the, con, the actual crankshaft as well on your um, 930 turbo. You can put different crankshaft, but on this rebuild, we're going to keep everything um, standard, and the only thing we're gonna change is the uh, um, sport exhaust and the EFI conversion at the end. All right. So I've fitted these ones. Sorry, I've fitted these ones here. So have a look at the actual freedom they got. Look at that. Just a little flick. And it's already rotating. All right. So before this one here was this one, and that one wasn't really moving. Was sort of like a uh, not free compared to the other ones, so if you look at the bearings on those ones, they, this is the one that I was talking about. See, pretty bad on that, and this one as well. And that one as well. And the little thing there is a little clip that broke off. It's part, it's that little part here that goes on the groove on your main journal, Conroe journals. So your Conroe journals, there's a little lock there. So that little lock there is part of this, that one there. So when you install it, it's hard to do with uh, one hand, I'll try my best. So that little part there has to go inside that little part there. So you sort of push it in like that and then bang. All right. so. I'm going to press pause and go from there. Okay, everything's back together now. I've just finished putting my con rods back onto my crankshaft. Alright, so now I've got to torque it up. It's just uh, hand tight. I usually just do, up, do them up to 10 newton meters first. Just to hold everything in place so I can spin it around like that. And once I'm happy with the, make sure they, they're not seized. Or you can tell if something's wrong, they're not spinning. So, see my numbers at the back there? Those numbers there are the actual, that's the numbers on the each con rods. So make sure you put those numbers here. See those numbers there? Those numbers must be facing, must be facing the same way. So that one there is sitting here. There's a number there. There's a number there. You can balance them if you want to. There's a number there. There's a number there as well. See? There's a number here as well, and there's a number here as well, alright? Those numbers must be facing the same side, so, so you can't put that number on the other side, on here, alright? So it have to be facing the same side. See the number? So you, all the actual con rods with the numbers must be facing the same side, alright? That's why I wrote everything down before. Anyway, now this is ready to talk up, and then pretty much uh, once that's all talked up, I want to do the bearing on this side here, replace the main main journal. But look how beautiful this is. This is a 1989 car. Sorry, 1984 car. I put it wrong. Sorry, this is the 1984, not 1989. 1984 turbo, and look how nice the actual camshaft and the actual crankcase is. So what I got? I've got new bearings for this one, which is this these ones here. That's a new one. It goes all the way to the front. 
Even the, uh, they give me new ones with the oil pump, for the oil pump as well. Okay, so once that's done, put that in there, and then this will go into here, and then I'll put the other half on and seal that up. And then after that, send the heads go on, and then the camshaft, and then do the timing, sorry, the, sorry, the pistons, sorry, pistons and barrels will go on after the putting this one on, and then we'll go from there. Alright, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.